Okay, I will be talking about this week's reading, um, the rereading New York Times versus Sullivan, the importance of procedure in libel cases, <clears throat> and the First Amendment in popular culture, the People versus Larry Flint. Um, I kind of want to start off by talking about the discussion that we had this week on the discussion board. Um, we all know what slander is. Slander, um, it's basically spoken to hurt somebody's feelings or their reputation. Um, I guess this is what we say our haters do. Um, but this happens every day. Um, there's no, I don't feel like there should be any offense to be taken by this. I mean, it is offending, but not, um, liable punishment. That's what I'm looking for. Um, should be taken for people doing this. I mean, it, like I said, it happens every day. We all know it happens every day. It happens to us. I mean, it's being talked about us. Um, but then when we think about it happened to, or it's going on with our politicians and in our government, this, I think there should be a punishment. Um, we don't want our government slandering us. Um, I think that, <clears throat> main, I think it should be punished mainly for politicians, not necessarily anybody else. Maybe some people in the more, you know, kind of, kind of like politicians. Um, but I think that they should, or that we should be able to hear the whole truth that politicians are speaking like, I'm going to use an example for the Trump and the um, Hillary um, case on the presidential run. She was slandering him completely and not saying that he didn't at all, but I feel like that in that type of case, we should be able to feel, sorry, hear the actual truth about it and not just what somebody like while somebody doesn't like you they're slandering you i don't think that we should have to hear all that because it's not true a lot of it's false information and or majority of it's probably false information so why why do we have to listen to that stuff just to hear each one of them's side why why do they have to fight against each other why can't we just hear our presidential elections and not Oh, you shouldn't vote for this one for this reason. And you shouldn't vote for that one for this reason. Just that reason. Um, I kind of wanted to refer back to the the New York Times versus the Sullivan, the importance of procedural liberal cases. I'm going to kind of read a little bit off of here and talk about it. Um, I don't know if I can find it. I thought I had it pulled up. Um... Okay, so the, they're saying in this one that the only way to prevent suits um, is for defendants to avoid any publication that might remotely be actionable. Kind of as I was saying, um, is, this should be accomplished by ignoring com controversial topics or individuals um, and by adding restrictive language to quality, quality, qual sorry, qualify harsh judgments. Um, Kind of like I was just saying, um, things that us people talk about other people, like just in normal life, it shouldn't be, I don't think that it should be um, punished. But then we step up to hire people that actually has something to do with how our our government flows and things like that. I feel like there should be a punishment for that. Um, and then it talks about the procedural safeguards, as we talked about a couple of weeks ago. Um, it plays an important role in preventing, um, the ligation and protect, protecting free speech. Um, and I also wanted to talk a little bit about the First Amendment and popular culture, the people versus Larry Flint. Um, I'm going to read a little bit of this and talk about it, um, it offers a sympathetic rendition of the many legal woes in Larry Flint. Um, 
it talks about financial disappointment and the remains of the scholarly attention as it contributes to understanding of the relationship. Um, and it talks about in this one how it considers to be a outrageous political satire that's qualified for the First Amendment protection. Um, this one pretty much goes hand in hand with what I was saying too. Um, even though it is a little bit different, the the cases were. Um, they see these people in this one were actually public figures. So kind of referring back to my example that I know a little more about and more familiar with. Um, these. These people are more public figures to us, and so I believe that it should be something done for their slander versus ours. I don't think that it's as big of a deal. Like I said, we all know it happens every day, so why are we trying to fix something that doesn't even matter that we should have to deal with on our own? It's not the government's responsibility, but then when we step into these these public figures and People and things that actually matter to us, I think that there should be something done about it. Uh, that's my discussion for this week's post. Um, hope you'll have a great spring break.